Hey guys, it's Kaz here, aka Cats and Camera, and today I'm just gonna let you into a little secret. It's fucking boiling in England. So yeah, you know it, I know it, it's boiling. But for that reason, I have decided today to do Nation, it's Sandra Shores. We interrupt tonight's programming with breaking news on the end of the world. With Britain seeing the longest heat wave in 42 years, the hottest in 350 years, and the driest since records began. I think these satellite images speak for themselves. We are in the end of the world. Waterfalls once cascading have turned to mere drips. Canals closing and reservoirs depleting. And the most shocking news of them all, this is set to continue until the end of August. So ban those hose pipes, hoard that water, but don't run for your lives because you'll use up too much energy and die. Back to the scheduled programming in three, two, Sandy? I told you it's Sandra. Uh, sorry, but we're still on air. The rainy days book tag. This is one I've had written down for ages, so I can't remember who originally created it, but it will be linked below when I find it. And yeah, this is meant to be done when it's raining, I guess, but I'm doing it now in hopes that it will make it rain because we need it. So yeah, question one is rain. Pick a book that makes you cry every time you read it. So for this choice, it's not actually a book that I've reread, but I feel like if I do reread it, as in a, every time you read it, I feel like I probably would cry again. And that's More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. This made me cry for literally a third of the book. The whole last third of the book for 100 pages straight. I was crying the whole time. So it's a perfect choice for this. Also, if you want to find out about more books that made me cry, then I'll link my video above. So next up we have Puddle. Pick a book where the world is underwater or mostly around water. So for this one I've gone for The Contigue Expedition by Thor Heyerdahl. This is a non-fiction about when he and a small group of people built a raft and went across the ocean just to prove that it could be done. You should read this, it's awesome. If you're ever in Norway you should go to the museum because that is awesome as well. And yeah, just everything about Thor Heyerdahl is awesome, so check it out. So three is Rain Boots. Pick a book with a character with a damned soul. Soul spelt like this. So for that one I feel like it's no surprise that I'm going with Half Bad by Sally Green. Nathan, the main character in this. His soul is damned. He has such a hard life. From being born, he's just treated like shit constantly by his siblings and the world and the government and everyone and yeah. As he gets older it doesn't get better so yay! <laughs> but you should read this series, it's awesome. So four is Umbrella, pick a book that was big and comforting. I feel like most books that are big are not necessarily comforting but I've gone with Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. You've heard me talk about Cassandra Clare, I have a love-hate relationship with her. But this is one of the love because this is my favourite book that she's written. I really enjoyed this one. The next one was slightly disappointing because of how much I enjoyed this, but I'm hoping that the third book in this series will get back to how good Lady Midnight is and not how annoying Lord of Shadows was. So question five is Rainy Day Movie. Pick a book that was turned into a movie that you would love to watch on rainy days. This one was kind of hard. I looked at my books first and I couldn't figure anything out. I looked at my films and then I was like, mm. So I've actually gone with a film, not the book. I've gone with a film that was one of my favourites as a kid growing up. I've never actually read the book. I've heard that it's very different. But I'm just going to go with the film because I feel like I probably did watch it on rainy days because it was one of my favourites. And that is a never ending story. Great film. Never read the book. My brother was scared of the look dragon and not the nothing. So question six is coffee. Let's scrap that, let's put a line through that and write tea because coffee is disgusting and I'm English. So let's say question six is tea. Pick a book that you couldn't get enough of the hot steamy romance. Personally, I'm not a massive reader of hot steamy romances. 
more reader of, you know, damned souls, crying, those ones I got in the bag. But I do have an answer, and that is Leo Loves Aries by Anita Sunday. This one was a slow burn romance, but when it got romantic it did get a bit hot and steamy, so I guess it fits for this. So Seven is Poncho. Pick a book where the main character has an amazing best friend. I thought, why an amazing best friend when you can have a group of amazing best friends? So I've gone with The Raven Boys, or just The Raven Cycle in general, by Maggie Stiefvater. Everyone's read this, apart from Rebecca, who should. So you know how awesome the friend group is in here. Question eight is gutters. Pick a book where the world is dirty and grimy in the way you would imagine it. This one, pretty easy. And that is The Marbury Lens by Andrew Smith. This is set in the real world, but also in this sort of weird dystopian where the people from the real world are in the world, but it's all horrible and wrecked and broken and everyone's trying to kill everyone and it's dark and yeah, grimy. So next up we have Cuddly Pet. Pick a book that had out of this world all very enjoyable animals in it. So I've gone with The Runaways because she has a pet raptor. And last but not least, question 10 is Sweet Treat. Pick a book that had the sweetest ending. So for this one I've gone with Elephant Shoe by J.S. Edge. This one was a bit of a roller coaster. There's highs and lows, I was crying, I was laughing. It was fun, it was sad, but the ending was really cute, so read it. So yeah, there we go. Hopefully this book tag helps it rain, and if not, I'll just have to make my own. So yeah, let me know down below what your answers would be for this. I'm not gonna tag anyone because, like I say, it's probably not the right time of year for this, but if you want to do it, then give it a go. If this is your first video by me and you enjoy it, then please check out some of my others. And if you continue to enjoy them, please subscribe, that'd be awesome. Anyway guys, I'll see you in a few days with another video.